Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 8 of Let's Play The Da Vinci Code. Alright, in this episode we finally started mission 4 in the Bank of Zurich, so we gotta find uh, Sonia's viewing room. And I believe that's what the key is for. Excuse me, but this key... Of course. To get to your viewing room, you must go through the left doorway in the atrium. Your key will give you access. Left doorway. Got it. You tripped the alarm! I meant your other left! <laughs> oh, that would have been something else. <laughs> if I tripped an alarm because I forgot the wrong left. I don't think we're alone. Who else will also be coming in here? Private viewing rooms. This must be it. Hey! Robert! Thank you. Or should I say merci? Hello. I need a drink badly. Thank you for sharing your life story. I have to go now. Interact with the key terminal. Interact. Do I need the key? Yes. It almost seems too easy. Are you trying to jinx us? No. Okay, I could take a look at that. That statue looks pretty ominous. Ominously does nothing! Yeah, we're not suspicious at all. No, honest. I'm guessing that symbol there is just like Bank of Zurich, because it shows up everywhere. That must be their logo. Oh, do it again? He looks like a mini dagger. <laughs> We laid off five employees so we can have a machine do all this. Okay, now a password? bring it over. Grandfather didn't leave us a password. Are you certain? Well, I stopped opening the mail he would send me after the incident. I don't think he'd send something that sensitive through the mail. Although, maybe he did give us a password. Look at the symbol on the crate. Symbol on the crate. If I use the UV light on that it, that is not right. Oh. Phi. It looks like the Greek letter Phi. The twenty-first letter of the Greek alphabet. But Phi is also a Greek numeral representing five hundred. We're still missing something. We need a four-digit number. Doesn't phi also represent the golden ratio? The golden ratio? It is a mathematical thing, but the most important part is that the Fibonacci sequence conforms to the golden ratio. You've lost me. Compel used the Fibonacci sequence as the number for a safe where he kept this key. I think he used that there so I would remember it now. So you're saying the Fibonacci sequence relates to phi being the 21st letter of the alphabet and the numeral 500? Yes. So if 21... 500 and 521 were the first three numbers of a Fibonacci sequence. The next number would be four digits, which is exactly what we need for this password. Okay, so 500 and 521. So 1021. Got it! I am a mathematician. Just two things. What is it? A note from Grandpère. My dearest Sophie, you are reading this and I therefore have passed away. I do I hope, hope that we made that up. We made but up. if not, but do, not if not, do not waste time grieving. You have much work to do and time will be running out. You were always the light I followed. Now 
you must, must be, be strong, strong and fearless. fearless. I know you will not let me down. Do not forget what lies beneath the rose must remain your secret. Mon amour, compère. Why is the box moving? Looks like a tube. Is that the keystone? No, this is a cliptex. Grandfather probably made this. It's based off a design from the Vinci Secret Codex. How do you open it? Well, this one has five dials and each one has 26 possible letters. The possible permutations may as well be infinite, but more importantly, there's a vinegar glass vial at the center. If you try to force it open, that will crack and dissolve the papyrus message inside. So, you either know the answer, or you don't. You've seen this before, I take it. Grandfather used to make these for me. I had to solve them to find my birthday presents. It's like, oh man, you took so long, now the pony died of starvation. So I wonder how we can figure this thing out. Probably have to find some clues for it. But at least we know it's five letters. Maybe there's something we missed. Let's look around. Okay, well I guess we have to look everywhere then. Could be in the crate. What an ornate box. It's made of rosewood. My grandfather's favorite. You think grandfather already left us a clue? In his note, he mentioned that what lies beneath the rose must remain our secret. Sabrosa. The Romans hung a rose over meetings to indicate the meeting was confidential. Attendees understood that whatever was said under the rose or Sabrosa had to remain a secret. Now, I noticed a small hole in the center of the rose in the box lid. The inner lid. It's probably false. If we can find something small enough to push through the hole, we might find a clue to opening the cliptex. Something small? Well, I guess we could probably use the opening of the key. Would that work? Maybe not a UV light. Something small. It's not giving me an option to examine anything. There has to be something I'm missing. What if I try the UV light? Like maybe in here? There must be something I'm missing. Can I rotate this? I don't know. This is not working. What if I combine the cryptex with the key? Of course not. That would just be stupid. It's telling me to interact with something, but what? Looking everywhere. It says the inner box. Obviously they're not talking about the crate. They're talking about the little box itself. Hole! Okay, finally got the hole. No, no, get the hole. Thank you. I do not think I did this correctly. Maybe I need to find something else to fit in there. Could be in this room. Oh, there's a bureau. I didn't interact with that yet. Huh, paper clip. Paper clip that's work. perfect. I think there's more to find. Let's keep looking. Can I go back? I'm in not there? sure. Let's keep looking around. Apparently there was only one thing in the bureau and nothing else. We all do. Here we go. I knew it would work. Ah, there's something written on the inside of the lid. 
Not yet the cup when Jesus broke the bread, nor yet the vessel into which he bled, but more than this a secret most divine, whose hiding place has stood the test of time. So not yet the cup when Jesus broke the bread, nor yet the vessel into which he bled, but more than this a secret most divine, whose hiding place has stood the test of time. I think I know what it is. Can I do it now? I wonder if it's possible. Or do I have to leave? That's, I can't talk? Okay. I didn't want to talk to you anyway. Something to do with where Jesus broke the bread, or before broke the bread. Vessel in which he bled. And something that stood the test of time. Let me listen to the hints, but I think I know what it is. We should look at the poem again. I think it is pretty clear what the answer is from that. The poem mentions a cup or a vessel, then says that it is specifically not those things. I think the poem means that it is thought to be a cup, but is actually much more than that. Yeah, the Holy Grail. That one was a little easy. As soon as it's sort of like cop or Good evening. the test of time. I am Andre Vernet, president of the Bank of Zurich. We don't have much time, so I'll be brief. My front desk guard informs me that he has alerted Interpol of your presence. The French police are arriving as we speak. Fash is even more determined than I thought. I don't want any authorities to set foot in my bank, nor do my customers. We have enough controversy here over the rights of my clients as it is. I will guide you out of the bank using these earpieces. You will need this security card and truck key. Avoid the bank security. If you get caught, I cannot help you. I will be going to the bank surveillance center to help you out. However, at any time, the authorities may request my attention. During that time, you will be on your own. Stay in this room until I get to the surveillance center. I will tell you when it's clear. I guess we better get ready to leave. Good to know he doesn't pause between any sentence. Go to the elevators and meet Vernet in the loading docks. Okay, we got a security card and a key. I think we should wait till the coast is clear. He said stay in this room until he's in the surveillance room. Are we sure that we've looked everywhere? Uh, is he trying to tell me that, hey, you might have missed a secret? Wanna well, look everywhere for one? I guess we can just outright leave. I don't think we need to wait this long, do we? We should not be able to alert the guards just by walking in the hallway. I hope. <laughs> what about over here? This also looks like a dead end, right? Probably a place for clients to have like a brief meeting. There's no guard here. That's helpful. I guess we can leave. Oh, that was the door we just came from. Did someone just cut off? Surprisingly, we could take the elevator. What's in the other rooms? Are we allowed to visit any other rooms? Break time soon. Oh shoot. Hope they're not going somewhere for a break. <laughs> Can they just <laughs> stay? <Jeez>. God. <laughs> it's like they're so close to me too. Well, maybe these guards haven't been alerted. Perhaps I should try something else. 
Nice. I fit a card in a slot. Not all of the cards know to watch for you yet, but that is about to change. Hello. Bonsoir. Do not be seen again, or you will most likely be taken into custody. Understood. Well, it's gonna be a lot of stealth the rest of the way. <laughs> the time limit I think so I wonder what happens if you miss the timing locate the administrator's office to upgrade the security card I think we need to search around some more In here Doubt it. okay my hands will just clip through an awkward turning motion. Got it. I'm a genius. <laughs> I wonder if his mother knows. Uh-oh. What kind of movement pattern is this guy gonna have? He gave up already? What the hell? Is that where you are? Oh my god, I lost him. A door was slightly opened. Anyone there? They won't escape next time. Oh, that went well. Oh, I messed Ooh. up. Oh, damn. We don't have to fight. Oh. oh, now there's two of them. Sophie, help! Don't worry, I help you. Oh, oh. oh would you really this is gonna be messy. I need help! I, I do too! You should reconsider this fight. Well, I didn't want this, okay? Here, we'll use walls. Yeah, me too. Oh well, I guess it wasn't awful. Wait, what? Is there another guard saying like, oh, I didn't hear anything. You know, it's just a fight going on. I am dying over here. But I'm pretty sure it's nothing. What? There's a third guard thinking nothing's happening. What the hell? This is so jank. <laughs> you can file a workers' comp claim on me. Oh, that's so cringe. <laughs> yeah, workers' comp jokes. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to put you all in here. This will be your new break room. Oh, I, I can't seem to open that. Okay, corner it is. Can I really not open the other door? It's two, there's two doors to it. Also, what is this? What am I looking for in this room? Is there supposed to be some kind of secret? Because this looks like a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> There's a Mars spear. You know, just sitting ominously in a bank. Why not? Not everything in this game has to make sense. This must be where I need to go to upgrade the card.
And I'm a little beat up. I hope we catch those two. What kind of people murder an old man in a museum? Who cares what they did? We had better get them out of the bank before the policemen ransack the place. That would put us out of business. Permanently. You must find your way to the system administrator's office. It is the only way out of here now. I must go. The police would like to have a word with me. <clears throat> oh, damn Rene knows. Where did I put that Enki? Oh, Sophie, can I take this please? This should come in useful. Oh, move. Thank you. How's the other guard? It says there's one nearby. Clearly they don't want to do admin work. Not that I blame them. No, what is that red thing? Yeah, just stand right on top of a desk. Yeah, that won't be conspicuous at all. Good job there, Robert. Or should I call you Bob? Call him Bobbert. Mm -hmm. Seems safe to me. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I can't say I'm a fan of this. Oh, come on! Are you for real? I was just having a good time. Getting ready to sneak up on one guard. Who's still ignoring me, by the way. Doing his rounds. And then another guy sneaks up. Oh, uh, the second one's been alerted. I guess I'll have to use the wall more often. Why did it give me a stealth attack option? You. What the hell was that all about? Oh, you should reconsider this. Oh god. Sophie! We're supposed to be equals! Help! I think that's enough. Oh! Pfft. Oh my god, I don't even know what side I was looking at. I got all but one wrong. I was just mashing like there was no tomorrow. I'm gonna finish this right now. Oh. Yeah, the the input timing is getting a lot shorter now. It'll be all right. Come on, let's go. Now it's just you and me. This isn't necessary. Metal Gear, this is not. <laughs> What should I throw? Oof! Oh! Oh wow! <laughs> I throw, he gets the advantage. Good job there. It's like he totally no sold the throw. Exposing the business on me. Oh, somebody's telly is ringing. Oh, this seems like a dark spot. There, ninety night. Have yourself a nappy whack. <laughs> huh. I should grab another one of those empty cans. Because apparently people that work here like to litter. And at least they have a good clean desk policy, so there's that. <laughs> no fall folders being left on there. So you know confidentiality is kept true. I like that. Hey, where'd Sophie go? She's stuck. Ah, here we go. Security systems. 
Oh, this is an awful lot of crap. <laughs> Uh, UV light. That does not work. Do I have to interact with all of these? Oh, this is gonna be tedious. Oh, I need a key for this one. Oh, it's only for one side. System passwords. No, go back. No, it's only for these three. Okay. That's not too bad, then. But where the hell am I gonna find the key for this? Hold on. Is it the, the key for the truck? It can't be the key for the truck. I mean, I could try it. That's a vehicle key. It's not gonna work for this. Is this even the right place? I am not sure. But I think we got all the guards in this room. Too bad they don't have like a first aid kit. Ah, here we go. This is what I need. Let's see what does on the computer. Is there really nothing? Okay, I guess I'm not interested in that computer for some reason. Not at all. There's no key here. So this was just an office I can go to for no reason. Huh. Alright then. We'll go somewhere else. I'll try the other side of this. Guys, I still have no clue where the hell Sophie went. I think she's dead. What a shame. Ah, here we go. This is the administrator's desk. A <laughs> nice screensaver. Honestly, the police are more annoying every time I see them. I sent in one of my lawyers to talk them in circles. That will keep them busy for quite a while. Now, insert your security card into the terminal attached to this computer. Log in with the password. Eight six seven five three zero, and your card will upgrade to security level two. This will allow you to access the entrance at the office stairwell. Okay, I hope I remember this. That part worked. Eight six seven five three zero. That's it, right? Vernet, the password you gave us didn't work. It would seem the system administrator has been changing the passwords regularly, as he should. To get the new password, you will need to go to the records room and find a file named Security System. The key to the cabinet that contains that file is located in the office manager's room. Wait, I think I've been into that room too, have I? And it had nothing on it. Huh, so much for secrets breaking, am I right? So I guess I should go in the office first to get the key. Then I gotta go back to the security room and open that file folder. Brene, now what? She hides the key somewhere in her office. Look around. Behind the painting? That's not gonna work. Oh god, I don't even wanna look at it. I'll just say it's not gonna work. What if I use a UV light on it? Perfect. Oh, <laughs> she says that was, or he says it with such enthusiasm. It's like, yeah, perfect. UV light on a painting. Oh, there's fingerprints everywhere. Ooh, painting hard and heavy. Oh great, now I gotta get another code. What if it's the same one? No. I think I know this password. If I could just remember it. 
I got this password in the desk drawer. I just need to refresh my memory. My password in a desk drawer. This one? Apparently I didn't get it. Oh, typical office computer. Nothing. Ah, here we go. Passwords. 728559. I love how Robert still said that even before he opened the, the office desk. <laughs> 728559. There we go. Anything else over here? Let's find out. No, not the other one. Thank you. Oh. Hope she doesn't have a workplace accident now. Okay, here we go. Let's try it again. Seven, two, eight, five, five, nine. Da 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 da. Alright, there's the key. So small. Just a tiny little key. Alright, so it's over here. We gotta go back that way to get to the cabinet. And then we gotta go back to the computer, and with them, we're good to go. Got a better voicemail. Good. Security passwords document. The admin's password is two six zero nine two four. Two six zero nine two four. Okay, I think I can remember that. My memory is all right. I remember where to go. Right, now let's try it. No, that's not it. <laughs> Alright, I did with the card again. Two, six, zero, nine. No, not three, four. Two, four. Da 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 da. <laughs> Level 2 security card, baby. And we got a checkpoint. That's a perfect time to end the episode. So, in the next part, we'll continue our escape from the bank. And then we gotta wonder where the hell Sophie went. See you, everyone. Thanks for watching.